Welcome, one and all, to IDK Outside. That's right, Anders TV, out of the studio and in the local park. How does that sound? Now, you might be asking why am I doing this? Well, I wanted to brag. It's a, uh, I live down south and it's a uh, very warm out. So yeah, be jealous. Also, you know, my baby brother's kind of asleep, so I can't film him in the house right now, but I thought bragging rights would make for a cooler, cooler story, cooler uh, tag into why I'm outside. And guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for a hundred subs. I mean, insane. Just, I can't thank you guys enough. You don't know how happy and excited I am about this. Oh my god, hundred subs. Thank you guys. Now, I'm sorry I couldn't get this video out last Tuesday. But to make up for it, Anders TV is going to start posting daily for about the next four days. Yeah, till Thursday. But still, that's going to be posting almost every day this week, guys. Now, if you're one of the first 50 subs to my channel, you might remember uh, this location as the place where I filmed, oh, I don't know, the Spooktober Anthology. But, enough gab. Let's get into today's episode, Storytime with Jonathan Anders. Was that good enough for you guys? My inexcitable host? <laughs> that was quite the opening. So, an epic tale of exploration, here we go. It all started just after we moved into uh, the neighborhood before the one we're in now. Unlike this neighborhood, the neighborhood before didn't have a playground, didn't have a place to go. Uh, if you wanted to take, you know, if you had a kid or just needed to get out of the house for a while, <laughs> like me. No real place to go. So I decided maybe I'd just walk around the neighborhood. You know, walking helps me think, so pretty cool idea. Pretty good idea on my part. I got some of my best ideas in that neighborhood. Now eventually, I reached the end of the road. And at the end of the road... There were woods. It's a giant tree line. And I decided, hey, you know what? Head into the tree line. You'll be fine. As it turns out, there were three abandoned houses back in those woods. Three. Now, over the course of the next couple weeks, I kept going in those woods more and more. And I kept discovering these houses, one by one. But the scariest one was the last one I found. And I actually filmed me trying to go inside it, because that was my plan. Uh, I wanted to start an urban exploration YouTube channel. So I thought, well, I have these abandoned places right here, might as well and go investigate them. I was, uh, overestimating my urban exploration abilities by a long shot. So I start heading back into those woods, heading for that house. I was determined. I actually tried to get some of my friends to come over to help me out, but no one was available. I was going in alone. Now, I didn't know what to expect. I had just, you know, come across this house maybe a few days before I decided to do this. I had not gone in it once. In fact, I don't think I'd gone within five feet of it before doing this. I kind of kept my distance while, you know, looking at it, scouting the place out. Well, Mr. Eager McBeaver here got what I probably deserved <laughs> for being a little too cocky, little too, little too confident, you know, a little, little bit. I marched in those woods. I wasn't scared of anything. I, I was like chopping down all the thorn bushes. Like, I'm coming in with my iPhone camera. Yeah, I didn't have a professional setup back then, so I just used my iPhone camera. And I'm like, I am ready. Let's go. Probably should have scouted out the house better. Probably should have. Uh, done the other two places because I knew those better before deciding to start off my urban exploration show with a uh, big big gun over here I didn't walk in the door I walked 
up to the door, and I was caught a little off guard. Because a vulture, a vulture that came up to like here on me, flew at my face, at my face, came out of the darkness of the house and flew right at my face. And it was, I was scared. I was saying words that I can't put on a family friendly Arab exploration channel. Extremely scary. Extremely scary. Now, sadly, I don't have the video anymore. I deleted it from my phone. But I have pictures of where that thing came out at me. And uh, when you see when you see these pictures, you'll understand why I was uh, so afraid. Show them. Pretty creepy looking place, right? Can definitely tell it's abandoned. And try to imagine a three foot tall vulture flying out at you from there. There's a plane interrupting my story. Story time. Hey, get out of here. It's story time with Jonathan Anders. Yeah, fly away like a wimp, like that vulture. Oh yeah, the vulture flew away. I ran out of there. But then I went back like 45 minutes later to the same results. And after that, I was done. Heh. <laughs> so that was the time I tried to explore an abandoned house Something I won't do again without backup. And scouting out the place better first. And making sure that there's no planes flying overhead. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have sunset to watch. You know what? North Carolina does not have bragging rights. It is freezing out. I'm going in and making myself some cocoa.